hello dear friends welcome to my channels today's problem is 0 to 1 g 1 2 3 comma 5 1 n n plus half n plus 1 n plus half n n plus 1 n by 2 n plus 1 divided to 2 into summation n equals to 0 to infinity 2 f1 a2 n n n plus 1 minus 1 1 f1 1 n plus 1 minus 2 1 f1 1 n plus 1 minus 2 so friends g12 22z1 comma 1 dz so i have to i have to prove this problem this derivatives so friends how can i prove this kind of problem let's see you have to know that this result this result is very very important g123 comma 5 z a a plus half b b comma b minus half equals to 2 a 2 to the power this is the formula okay this is formula i apply this formula so in here 1 2 3 5 so this identity i use and i get this equation and this is this equation is this identity is called z divided by z plus 1 so you see that is this is 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 2 and this is this identity is called z by z plus 1 so friends i apply this knowledge this identity in here so whatever i get i get g 1 2 3 comma 5 1 n comma n plus half comma n plus one divided by n plus half n comma n plus one n by two comma n plus one this is equals to i can write to the power 2 to the power n minus 1 pi to the power 3 by 2 gamma n plus 1 1 f 1 1 comma n plus 1 comma 2 minus 1 f 1 1 n plus 1 minus 2 so this is my my result so how can now if i put this putting this value in here so i can write this total this total function this total total is omega omega so my omega equals to if i put omega so you see that this portion this portion and this portion and this portion this portion this portion this portion and this portion cut okay this portion and this portion is cut so if i cut so whatever i get if I, I i will take total total is omega total total function is my omega so 0 to 1 i get z divided by z plus 1 dz okay and this portion is 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by pi to the power 3 by 2 gamma n plus 1 okay gamma n plus 1 and this portion is cut so i get 2 f1 2 n comma 2 n comma n comma n plus 1 comma minus 1 this value i get okay and summation overall summation 
summation n equals to 1 to infinity infinity and 2 to the power Two to the power n and two to the power n minus one. So it is two to the power n. Okay, two to the power n, and in here two is multiplied in here. Okay, no problem. And if I integrated this term, so whatever I get, I get one into one minus log two. Very simple because z plus one minus one. So it is one minus log two. After that, summation summation n equals to 1 to infinity 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 2 to the power 1 by 2 root over pi cube 2 root over pi, pi cube 2 if 1 2 n n comma n comma n plus 1 comma minus 1 divided by gamma n plus 1 n plus 1 2 to the power n using Kumar's theorem Kumar's Kumar theorem theorem this formula 2f1 1 2n n comma n plus 1 minus 1 equals to gamma n plus 1 gamma n minus 1 divided by gamma 2n plus 1 divided by gamma 2n plus 1 you see that this is the i apply gamma test gamma theorem okay 2f1 n n plus 1 gamma n plus 1 gamma n minus 1 gamma 2n plus 1 now you see that i use this equation and after that you will see that it is 1 minus log 2 this formula and now in here you see this total equation equation i am just putting omega is equal to 2 root over pi because omega is this is this is my omega okay and after that if i put this value 1 by 2 root over pi cube 2 to the power n gamma n plus 1 1 minus log 2 after that i just i am doing only calculation and root over pi is equal to 4 to the power n gamma n plus half 2 2 to the power n log 1 minus log 2 1 minus log 2 1 minus log 2 gamma n 3 by 2 n plus 3 by 2 and half plus n equals to minus 1 i take so it is gamma n plus 3 by 2 because 1 is add plus 1 add then I get 3 by 2 and half to the power n plus 1 into 1 minus log 2 and after that 1 by 2 pi n plus 1 equals to n equals to 0 to infinity gamma in n plus 3 by 2 half into to the power n plus 1 1 by gamma half into 1 minus log 2 now again i see 1 by 4 pi gamma 3 by 2 is equal to n equals to 0 to gamma n plus 1 this formula is equals to 1 f 1 1 3 by 2 comma half because hyperbolic function and 2 pi divided by 2 root over pi now friends we know that erfx equation equation of erfx is equal to 2 x square 2x e to the power e minus e x square is equal to 1 f1 1 f1 3 by 2 is equal to half and root over pi is equal to root over e by 2 and erfc 1 by 2 so so i just this is my my erf erf error function error function error function formula so i get the equation if i put this value i get this equation 1 by 2 pi root over e by 2 error, error fc 1 by root over pi 1 minus log 2 thanks for watching